Rabbi Sheit. He was doing great work in Miami. However, I asked him to undertake greater efforts to accomplish more at a greater scale. It's about fulfilling a role, a mission, trying to accomplish that which I've been asked by Gedolim to fulfill, to try to do for Klai Yisrael. The needs of Klai Yisrael come before the needs of an individual, they come before the needs of a family, and they come even before the needs of a community. Sometime towards the end of July, he mentioned to me, you know, I'm going down to Miami. I said, really, why? We're starting Yeshiva there. When? In September. He said, it's the last week of July and you expect to start Yeshiva in September? He said, well, you know, I have no money, I have no location, I have no students, and I have no name. But other than that, I'm ready to go. Little did I know that I would be joining him a year later. Basically, we started with, with eight boys. The first year of the yeshiva started with eight boys on the second floor of a shul on, around, on 79th Street in Miami Beach. That was the first year. Eight boys, one rabbi, and a small little second floor location. Sage Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky. He told me and seen you don't understand how powerful Torah really is. It can permeate even Miami. Rabbi Chait's passion to fulfill the mandate of his Rebbe to build Torah in South Florida has been the engine that has fueled the success of our yeshiva. We've been in North Miami Beach almost the same time as Rabbi Chait has been here and he really built up the yeshiva a, a tremendous, tremendous amount for, from really nothing and we owe him a tremendous Akar Sato for everything you see here. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. He has an incredible sense of humor and I think that sense of humor is very important in his relationship with people. It's important not to take yourself too seriously all the time. Why does the microphone have to go haywire before my speech? Rabbi Chait has the unique ability to make people feel that the mission of the school is part of something bigger, part of Jewish history. You know, today we were privileged, all of us that were there, to witness a moment in history. We were building a bridge, a bridge to eternity, a bridge that links the past to the future. Rabbi Chait is a general. He sees the big picture and knows exactly what has to be done to make the dream come true. It's a picture now, it's hard to imagine now what's going to be. The walls are finally done and all the electrical things that are hanging down are finally put away. And this eventually is going to be actually two classrooms that's going to have about uh, an average of about 600 square foot in each class, which is a very nice size. A visionary, a dreamer, with both feet on the ground. Off the central corridor, we're going to have three classrooms to the right hand side. This is going to be one, two, All remodeled, all renovated, all going to be beautiful. All going to be about 600 square feet, enough to have at least 25 boys in the class. And they're going to all be comfortable in air conditioning. We have a yeshiva of close to 600 Talmidim. That, I can say, 
is a direct result of his unparalleled mysterious nefesh for our community. Rabbi Chait cares. He anguishes, he cries, he feels the misery, he sees the smiles, he becomes happy, he becomes giddy, all because of the children. One of the most amazing things about Rabbi Chait is his sincerity and his honest and genuine feelings that he feels for his students, for his friends, for the people in the community. He didn't just teach us Torah, he taught us how to live Torah. He taught us how to dedicate his life, how to dedicate our own lives to Torah and to the spreading of Torah. That's what this is all about. When I see Rabbi Chait walking through the Mesa Medjish, I just feel a jolt of energy. Because you know that energy itself has just walked into the room. When you were in the classroom by Rabbi Chait, he was so lebedic, so animated. There was such a geschmackheit. Each and every one of us as Talmidim enjoyed the learning. It became a part of us because of the way that Rebbe taught. I'd like to single out one person, particularly, who has been here since the very beginning and everyone else is included. And I think this person deserves our hafaras and I refer to a lot that's on shape. could not have done what he did without his wife standing behind him. She has been applauding him, cheering him on, encouraging him. She was right there helping him build the school and this community. Rachel's home, classroom, and heart are full of chesed. The little favors she does with grace, dignity, and with so much warmth and love. She is like a high wire trapeze artist with an incredibly difficult job balancing our family's needs and the community's needs having that sensitivity and that very very fine balance what's right what's appropriate what needs to be done with the right sensitivity with a smile and with grace to see Moa Rachel teach Parsha is just an, an absolute delight. She acts out the Parsha with the children, but in the process of having fun, they learn in a wonderful way. And this gives them a wonderful feeling, a uh, feeling that Yiddishkeit being from is really something that they enjoy. And it's really due to her because she has these qualities and cares so much about these values that she's able to transmit them to the children. Just really, really the, a, a perfect, perfect mother, caring, loving, devoted, happy, patient. She's one of the strongest people I know. As the years pass, one gets a greater sense of the profundity of the words of our great teachers, Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky, who told us that seeing who would have imagined that today Torah is being learned on such a high level? Over 600 Talmidim are sitting and studying Torah with profundity, with beauty, with dignity, and they are influencing lives of everyone they come in contact with. Who could have ever imagined?
that's basically the tour, and that's the vision. This is just the beginning. Building a high school, a junior high school, a college level program, magnificent base management, magnificent dining room, magnificent Makam Torah. Only possible with your health.